Let's check back with Mary Kay. Mary Kay, it sounds like this storm is going to start overnight and tomorrow is going to be a dicey one. It might wake you up too, and Erica, with all the thunder and the lightning that we are expecting. Storm Prediction Center kind of keeping an eye on our region here. So Chicago is a one on a scale of one to five for severe weather, but it goes up to a two for the shaded yellow areas. Our friends in Will County, LaSalle County, and much of Kankakee as well. We'll see this first squall line of thunderstorm activity moving in. The flood threat, I think, is going to be the biggest issue with these. They're going to actually train, and that's meaning like train tracks basically where you have car after car or storm after storm and that just makes a flooding issue. So daybreak storms are likely also large hail is certainly a possibility as well. So I'm thinking that the flood threat is going to be the highest threat followed by the hail as well and we could have some gusty winds with these storms as well. Now ahead of the system we do have a few pop-up showers mainly near the Wisconsin line around Antioch, around Winthrop Harbor and into Zion. Those are stepping over into Kenosha County moving to the north. Then as we head down near Midway Airport, we're seeing rain that's going to be spreading to Beverly, Inglewood, Pullman. That's going to be pushing eastward as well. And northwest Indiana, a little lightning and thunder there around Crown Point. That's moving to Hobart and eventually to Valparaiso. So you can see these clusters of storms for now. Much bigger storms though coming as we reach daybreak. 52 degrees. It's super mild at this late hour. Northeast winds at 10 miles per hour. So let's time out that rain. Here's five in the morning. So we'll get that first band of rain coming in with those heavy, heavy downpours and also the chance for some large hail. Then we'll see that same area hit again at 7 a.m. This line moving closer through Cook County as well with the embedded thunderstorms wrapped into it and the very heavy rain. Now the key is what happens after that morning round when we get into lunchtime. Now this model is holding cloud cover and a few scattered showers. That would be a good thing because that would hold stable air in place. Now, if something changes and we break the cloud deck, have sunshine, have warming, well, then we could be in for an afternoon and evening round of thunderstorms that could be strong as well. But this model run is showing that we hold in the clouds, hold in the showers. Yes, we bring rain in for the afternoon and evening rush, but it is not widespread like we see in the early morning hours. So let's be on for your Thursday with those gusty storms, 58 degrees. Friday, we are going to start with cloud cover, clear out as the day wears on, a windy weekend for us, and much cooler for St. Patrick's Day, Joe and Erica, a high of 43 degrees. Thanks, Mary Kay.